Hi students, I'm Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the object, behavior, and methods. We can describe the set of things that an object can do on its own or we can do with it. For example, consider an object known as car. We can drive the car and we can stop the car. Each of the above statement is a description of the object's behavior. The object's behavior is described in methods or procedures. A method is a function or procedure that is defined in a class and typically can access to perform some operations. Behavior denotes the collection of methods that abstractly describes what an object is capable of doing. The object which operates on the method is called receiver. Methods encapsulate the behavior of the object, provide interface to the object, and hide any of the internal structures and states maintained by the object. The procedures provide us the means to communicate with an object and access its properties. For example, an employee object knows how to compute salary. To compute an employee's salary, all that is required is to send the compute payroll message to the employee object. So the simplification of code simplifies application development and maintenance. Next we are discussing how the objects respond to messages. The capability of an object is determined by the method defined for it. To do an operation, a message is sent to an object. Object represented to messages according to the methods defined in its class. For example, when we press on the brake pedal of a car, we send a stop message to car object. The car object knows how to respond to the stop message since brake have been designed with specified parts such as brake pads and drums precisely respond to that particular message. Different objects can respond to the same message in different ways. The car, motorcycle and bicycle will all respond to the stop message, but the actual operation performed are object specific. It is the receiver's responsibility to respond to a message in an appropriate manner. This gives the great deal or flexibility since different objects can respond to the same message in different ways. This is known as polymorphism. And next, the important point to be in our mind is, objects are grouped in classes. The classification of object into various classes is based on its properties and behaviors. Classes are used to distinguish our type of object from another. An object is an instance of a structure, behavior, and inheritance for the objects. The chief rules of the classes is to define the properties and procedures and applicability to its instance. For example, consider an employee class. An employee class. In an employee class, we can see different objects like HR employee, clerical employees, managerial level employees, and sweepers and, and pewns, etc. like that. Each of these objects has its own property and there are some common properties for the employee class of a particular class. And as we had discussed in the beginning, each and every object respond to a particular message in different way. There are some common protocols and there are some final outputs, but the individual operations are performed based upon the object's preferences and the object's attributes and other values what an object is handling. For example, the method salary for the above mentioned objects, that is objects like managers, clerks, laymen's, pewns, and all type of objects has the same method called salary, but the output of the salary depends upon what the properties of that particular object. So my dear students, in this lecture we had discussed the object behavior and the object's methods. So my dear students, kindly note down this assignment question. The assignment question is, write notes on objects, behavior and methods. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the different class hierarchy. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.